Killing Jody, penned by the Australian journalist and author Janet Fife Yeomans in 2007, delves into the true crime saga surrounding the tragic 1987 murder of Jody Larkham, an Australian sex worker. The narrative meticulously traces the endeavors of law enforcement to gather sufficient evidence to prosecute her killer, Daryl Suckling. Fife Yeomans, who covered the case extensively during her tenure at the Australian newspaper, offers a gripping account of the events. In 1987, Jody Larkham, a 21-year-old sex worker and heroin addict residing in the St Kilda suburb of Melbourne, Australia, mysteriously vanishes following a brief stint in Pembridge Prison. Despite exhaustive searches of hospital and financial records, her whereabouts remain elusive. Meanwhile, Daryl Suckling, a 50-year-old caretaker of Wyrama Station, a remote country estate in New South Wales, frequents his niece Shirley's residence in Melbourne on weekends. During one such visit, Daryl encounters Jody, sparking a transactional sexual relationship fueled by his financial support for her heroin addiction. Daryl claims their last encounter was on Christmas Day, during which Jody left her dental plate in his car before departing to purchase drugs in St. Kilda. Shirley reports missing Valium and Lorazepam pills on the same day. She inspected Daryl's bag and located them, but refrained from taking them out. The following day, which happened to be his mother's birthday, Daryl spent time at her residence from approximately 10 a.m. until noon. On December 27, Daryl experiences a flat tire while returning to Wyrama Station. Seeking assistance, he contacts James Wembridge, the local mailman, and arranges to meet him on Arumpo Road. Upon James' arrival, around 6 p.m., he observes a sizable travel bag in the back seat placed atop sheets of drop cloth. Daryl instructs James not to open the passenger car door. Subsequently, on December 30th, James notices that the interior of Daryl's vehicle is thoroughly saturated, resembling the aftermath of prolonged exposure to a water hose. Due to Daryl's connection to the missing Jody, law enforcement regard him as a person of interest. Their suspicions prompt a comprehensive search of Wyrama Station in March 1988. During the search, authorities uncover a purple dress belonging to Jody, along with makeup and accessories matching those used by her. Additionally, they find chloral hydrate, which, combined with Jody's intake of lorazepam, valium, and heroin, could produce a potentially lethal mixture. Furthermore, they discover Jody's dental plate discarded in a garbage can. Family members and acquaintances confirm Jody rarely removed her dental plate except for cleaning, as she felt embarrassed by it. Hence, the notion that she would leave it in the glove compartment before purchasing heroin appears highly implausible. Daryl is eventually apprehended on April 3, 1989. He remains in custody until May 16, 1990, when he is granted bail. Although poised for trial, authorities ultimately dismiss the charges citing a dearth of evidence. Despite the damning statements and discoveries at Wyrama Station, Prosecutors express concerns about the formidable challenge of securing a conviction without a body. In 1992, Daryl faces arrest on an unrelated matter. His cellmate, Bob Collins, reveals that Daryl frequently alludes to Jody Larkham's disappearance, cynically referring to her as a missing person with air quotes. In a candid admission, Daryl confides in Bob, confessing his culpability. Bob promptly informs the authorities, prompting Detective Peter Lennon to enlist Bob's cooperation, agreeing to install surveillance devices in his vehicle. Upon Daryl's release in 1993, Bob extends hospitality, offering him shelter on the central coast at his residence. During this time, Daryl becomes acquainted with Bob's girlfriend, Amelia Pazik. Disturbingly, Daryl proposes to Bob a plan involving drugging and abducting Amelia to a hotel, where they would subject her to their whims before ultimately killing and concealing her remains underground. Feigning compliance, Bob collaborates with Detective Lennon and his team, consenting to have a listening device implanted on his person. While driving together, Daryl boasts about the murder and dismemberment of Jody, arrogantly asserting that law enforcement is aware of his guilt but powerless to act. On June 2, 1994, Daryl faces rearrest for Jody's murder. Following a two-year trial, he is convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment. Tragically, on the day of his appeal filing, Jody's mother takes her own life. To date, Jody's body remains undiscovered, perpetuating the unresolved anguish surrounding her fate. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.